guys, today I want to talk to you about wet lens holders uh, for underwater use and for your housings. See, most cameras on land does not really uh, like taking pictures underwater. Uh, that is why it's such a good idea to add special lenses when you go underwater uh, due to the difference in the optics. So underwater lenses could be both wide angle and wet, uh, wet macro lenses. And uh, I normally say as a general rule, 90% of the best pictures ever taken underwater has been taken with special lenses. Actually, we could make that 99% because I believe that the closer you get to your subject, the better, and you can do that with macro or wide angle lenses. So a wide angle lens that is a wet lens could look something like this, and it could be sitting in this case on a bayonet system, making it easy to take on and off underwater, meaning that you can change between the wide angle and the macro lens, which is great. Uh, the only problem is that when you're not using the lens, the lens not in use, where do you want to store it? So that's a very good uh, question. And as you can see on this housing, the solution is lens holders. So there's a few different types of them. There's the bayonet mount holders. This is a single. And there's the M67 threaded uh, lens holders as this one, where I have screwed the lens directly onto the holder. This one is a double holder and they both come as single or double. The most predominant ones are the Nauticam bayonet holders and the AOI system holders. Uh, when it comes to M67 holders, there's a lot more brands that has those. I'm gonna be showing you the difference, not the difference, but the two uh, ones that I sell on um, the bayonet system, which is the AOI and the Nauticam. And as you can see here, when you underwater you want to take off your wide angle lens and you want to change it fast, you can then add it to the mount just like this. It goes fast, it's easy, and the reason why I want to place it there is that you don't drop it, you don't lose it. I mean, I sell equipment, I don't mind. If you have to call me, let's say twice a year and saying, Lars, I need a new lens because I dropped it. See, I like that, but I'm sure you don't. So if you have been taking your dive course for not that many years ago, you'd be remembering that the paddy triangle where all the important stuff needs to be here close to you, the same goes for the lenses. They don't scratch typically when they sit here in the lens holder, okay? So there are different kinds. Let's just have a look at them. There are lens uh, mounts uh, that are based for the M67 uh, wet lenses here, the macro wet lenses. And as you can see here, you can mount pretty easily your macro lens. When that's not in use, you can mount your, your wide angle lens. And then you want to store it because you only have two hands. That's when this one comes in handy, as you see here. Taking that one off, boom, mounting it here. There we go. And meanwhile, this one here would be sitting on the front. Now, obviously I have two different wide angles on. This is the WWL from now again, my good old WWL, one of the best and sharpest lenses on the market. This one's the old version, and that means the mount system here is a little bit old type. The new system from Nausicam is a lot better and much easier to take on and off. And the QRS is really nice as well. You just press that one and then it's off and you mount it onto here. As you can see, it's quite easy to take off your lenses, store them in the lens holder, and then put the other lens on. And as I told you before, you need to have two holders if you have two lenses, because there will always be one lens parked in one of the holders, because you only have two hands and you need to move them, right? Good luck. I hope you don't drop your lenses before you get your own holder system.